Good evening. The Chancellor, Rachel Reeves, has today delivered her long-awaited budget, which she says will kickstart a decade of national renewal. In a speech which outlined plans to raise taxes by £40 billion, the Chancellor also pledged to restore economic growth with plans to invest in the Midlands. But while key transport projects have been confirmed, businesses say they fear they'll bear the brunt of this, the first Labour budget in 14 years. Our political correspondent Alison McKenzie is standing by in Westminster with analysis and reaction from Midlands MPs. We'll cross live to them shortly. But first, our political reporter Lewis Warner has spent the day with one family in Birmingham. They say they're desperate for more money to be spent helping those with special educational needs and disabilities. At home in Birmingham, the one thing Sabia needed to hear was the one thing she feared wouldn't come up. What about the SEN scandal? Her son Adam has special educational needs. She says her family has suffered because of a lack of funding and care. So still waiting to hear anything about SEND, no mention yet. But almost an hour into the Chancellor's speech came the briefest of mentions of further funding. This government is committed to reforming special educational needs provision. Yeah. To improve outcomes for our most vulnerable children and to ensure that the system is financially sustainable. To support that work, I am today providing a £1 billion uplift in funding, a 6% real terms increase from this year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but no detail in it. I mean, it's nowhere near enough. I mean, the scale of the problem is huge and the send, it, it's massive, you know, and it sits across so many different areas. Um, welcoming as that announcement is, it, it's really not even going to touch the sides of the, the issues that we have in SEND across the country as a whole. £2.3 billion. Pounds. The first Labour budget in 14 years did confirm a rise in the national living wage for over 21s by more than 6% to £12.21 per hour. The freeze on fuel duty will remain, meaning there will be no higher taxes at the petrol pumps next year. Draft beer in pubs will see a 1p cut in duty, but this budget raises taxes by £40 billion. Most of that is from businesses. Employers' national insurance will go up from 13.8% to 15%, although there will be some exemptions. <laughs> the hike in the minimum wage is worrying the hair and beauty industry, which this salon owner in Briley Hill believes is in crisis. That will affect us really, really hard. Because we need to hire people, with the minimum wage going up, it's difficult to hire people, so there's going to be hindrance in our businesses. A lot of small businesses will find that a huge impact. The hair industry is already suffering at the moment, and the wider impact, we have hundreds of salons closing per year, so we need to come together, have a better chat, and the government needs to listen to the salon association. Are you worried that businesses in the West Midlands, faced with a higher tax burden, will now choose to hold back on investing here in the region. The discussions I've had with investors uh, who believe in the stability that the government are giving us uh, and our plans for growth, and I'm really confident that we'll attract investment here. We've got plans to attract over five billion pounds worth of investment through our three investment zones and create 30,000 jobs. Everything I heard today is about supporting that investment, attracting that growth and delivering uh, more jobs for people of the region. There was money to ensure tunnelling work gets HS2 trains from Birmingham all the way to central London and money to complete the Wensbury to Briley Hill Metro extension, a project 10 years in the making, today confirmed in a budget that takes from business and invests in infrastructure. Lewis Warner, ITV News.